Welcome back, fine folks, to another wonderful adventure. This time the road is taking us to Louisiana. See the state line sign right here behind me. Now there's a portion of Louisiana, uh, specifically northern Louisiana, that is actually Stephen King country, if you didn't know that. We're here to take you on the mist filming locations. And as Stephen King would say, I'm going to scare the hell out of you. Our first stop on the Mist Grand Tour of filming locations takes us right here to Shreveport, Louisiana. We're at the Drayton House, which you only see briefly in the film, right at the very beginning. You see it off there in the middle of your screen. I'll get a little closer shot. But yeah, it's beautiful property. But yeah, you only see this in the very beginning of the film. So after a storm hits at the beginning, David and his family survey the damage out in the backyard. You kidding? They could whip up some bad Photoshop poster in an afternoon. They do it all the time, two big heads. I should have brought it downstairs with me last night. It was just stupid, I guess. Yeah. Sweetie, you couldn't exactly know that a tree was gonna come flying through the window. Yeah, I'll hit the hardware store too. Get some plastic sheeting and duct tape and seal this up before it gets dark, you know. Order in some new glass. And there's a little closer shot of the house. You can see in the back of the house, you see the lake that you see in the film. As they're back there surveying the damage where the tree came and crashed down. Now, the only time you really see the front of the house is when uh, David and Brent driving off to head to the supermarket. Obviously, you see the front of the house. It's hard to see through these bushes here. But as they are driving down this driveway, you do see over on the right-hand side, you see that little white house right there? Yeah, you do see them pass by that. You do see it in the background as they head on out towards us. But that's it. That's the Drayton house in the mist. So we're gonna head over to the one and only supermarket, which is pretty much the focal point of the entire movie. So let's head up to Vivian, Louisiana. Okay, folks, we're out here in Vivian, Louisiana. This is where 95% of the movie took place, was at the Food House supermarket. Now all the uh, exterior scenes were filmed out here in front of the supermarket, but the interior was filmed at Stageworks in Louisiana. We're going to be dropping by there in a minute, but he came out to this supermarket where it stood. It was been closed for a while, but uh, I'm afraid I do have some bad news, devastating news, heartbreaking news, if you will. It's gone. The whole supermarket has been torn down. There's a bank going up in its place. And the supermarket was just here not too long ago. I saw someone else do a filming location from here early in the year. It was still standing at the time. And we drove out here to find out it's no longer here. It's gone. You know, we're still going to carry on with this video. And I'm going to try to line up what I can. But the supermarket was going to be the main focal point of this whole video. And it's just gone. It's really unfortunate. But, uh... Let's do what we can. We're still going to make do with uh, what we got out here. There's a few things I can try to line up and I'll show you where the supermarket used to be and a few things around here, but uh, let's carry on. There's the sign, future site of First Guarantee Bank. 
Let me show you the uh, site where the supermarket used to be. It used to be right there. Unbelievable. Again, this is, <laughs> is earth-shattering news. <laughs> Come all the way out here just to find out the supermarket's gone. I can't believe it. Oh, well. Now, before we move on, let's get one last shot of where the supermarket once stood. A moment of silence, if you will. Rest in peace, missed supermarket. You will be missed by all. All right, folks, you're just going to have to use your imaginations for what I'm about to tell you, and at least attempt to try to show you where some of these scenes took place. So right there in the middle of your screen, that's where the supermarket would have been standing. You're going to see uh, David get out of his car. He's kind of walking over this way a little bit to the pharmacy. There was a uh, payphone there. That's where he tries to call his wife. Now the pharmacy, the pharmacy actually kind of stood, see where that, I guess that's, what is that, a steamroller? That, that vehicle is, that's where the pharmacy used to be. Now the pharmacy itself was a facade that was built for the film. And I uh, know that 100% because I watched the uh, behind the scenes documentary about the movie and they did build that specifically for the film. Now only the outside of the pharmacy was used, all the inside, like I said, was done over at Stageworks over in Shreveport, which we'll head to in a little bit. But that, that's where the pharmacy once stood, where that dumpster and that steamroller are. Now everyone's inside the grocery store at this time. Things start to happen. They start hearing sirens outside, so they look out the supermarket windows, and you're going to see the fire department go by along with a uh, police car. Now, as they're going by, it's a quick scene. You're going to see that awning right there in the background. Clear as day as they zoom by. Daddy, is there a fire? Is Mommy all right? I'm sure she's fine. Huh? All right, in another scene, you're going to see Jeffrey DeMunn's character. He plays Dan Miller in the movie. He's going to come running this way. Oh, my God. Something in the mist! Something in the mist! Damn. Cook John Lee! Damn. He's gonna come running this way, obviously not through the dirt in the ditch, because that wasn't here at the time of filming. There was actually a supermarket, but you're gonna see him running this way up to the supermarket, yelling, there's something in the mist! There's something in the mist! Yeah, that all happened right here, when there was a supermarket. Something in the mist! Damn. Cook John Lee! Damn. All right, folks, breath. time to use that imagination again, so, you're gonna see the mist start rolling in. And there's a guy already in the supermarket. He says, the hell with this. So he decides to run out, but you're gonna see the mist kind of encompass that building right there, which is actually still here, thankfully. The supermarket's kind of right there to the right of the screen and over to the left, you're gonna see that building as the mist starts rolling in. All right, we've made an impromptu stop. We've come here to the Caddo Parish Fire District. Now, we uh, asked permission from one of the firemen that uh, is here, if we can film something, show you guys a little something special. And he said it was okay. Now you're gonna see in the scene I showed you earlier from the mist, you're gonna see that fire truck go by. And on the side of the door, you're gonna see that it says Caddo Parish Fire District. He also gave us some insight on that truck. The actual truck that was used in that movie it's not here anymore. It was sold a few years back. But he also gave us some interesting facts that his father was the one who actually owned that grocery store. Um, it actually closed in 2015 due to the oil business um, and the economy kind of went downhill so people were cutting back on groceries. So that's why uh, it closed down in 2015 and just sat there abandoned until obviously it was recently demolished. And here's the inside of the fire station. But the doors still say the same thing on all these fire trucks. And there it is. Caddo Parish Fire District. Just like it says in the movie. 
I want to thank the gentleman who let us come in here and do a little filming. That was very kind of him and giving us a little insight and information about the supermarket and the truck that was used in the movie. So thank you very much. Our final destination, we are down here in downtown Shreveport. As you can see, right here in the shadows of Sam's Town, over to the right, Valley's Hotel and Casino. We're here at Stageworks of Louisiana. This facility is where all the interiors of the mist were filmed. They reconstructed the entire supermarket inside. Everything interior was done inside this building right here. So we're going to kind of take a look around. Obviously we can't go inside, there's nobody there, but uh, we're going to go around the building and show you the back as well. So what you're looking at is the front of Stageworks. Again, that's where all the interiors were filmed for the mist. Not a car in sight in the parking lot, but uh, maybe we can try to peek through the windows here, see if we can see anything inside. I don't know, it's worth a shot, right? Mm. All you see is my ugly mug, huh? I'm going to scare the hell out of you. Let's see here. Eh, just see more doors and windows. Not too much to see. Uh, I'm not sure how good this is going to come out, but I will... You zoom in a little bit through those other set of doors, obviously you're still going to see a reflection of myself and the buildings behind me, but you see those double doors kind of a little bit to the left and that whole open area with the wood floors? That's where they built the set. That's where everything was built and everything happened right back in there. Again, you can't see too much of it because of the glare, but just look to the left and see those two double doors. That's where everything took place back there in that space. We also had to put a pharmacy next door on the real location, which uh, looks very real, looks very good, but was a very simple three-wall facade. We plopped it right down into the parking lot. Often you'll have your set designed and then you'll dress the real location to match your set. The real location was so close to the market we wanted to build, we just said, well, to hell with it. Let's just design our set to match the real location. We've had so little time. We started designing this movie and six weeks later we were shooting. So there was very little design time. We had to like get down here and build a market, build a pharmacy, build the loading dock. We were just going. Greg really rendered it brilliantly. He and his crew, I mean, they were tireless. To do it all in six weeks, wow. All right, let's do a little talk and walk here. So if you've seen The Mist, you know about the ending in the movie. The ending is quite different from Stephen King's short story. Now, Stephen King said himself about that ending in the movie, he loved it. He even said he wished he would have thought of that himself. He also said that he was genuinely frightened by this adaption of his novella directed by Frank Darabont. He described it as the happiest moment of his career. Now you're also going to see uh, another fun fact about the movie. If you look, uh, during uh, one of the action scenes that took place inside the supermarket, a man runs into a wire rotating bookshelf in the grocery store. Now if you look real carefully, you can clearly see that all the books on the shelf are written by Stephen King. Now as I said, Frank Darabont is the uh, director of this movie, but this isn't the first Stephen King adaption he did. He also uh, directed two others. He did Shawshank Redemption and The Green Mile. Now, where did he get the uh, idea for The Mist, Stephen King? Well, according to him, he got the idea when he was in a main market. He noticed the front windows were made of plate glass and he wondered what would happen if giant insects flew into them. That's how it all started. Now, Frank Darabont, the director, agreed to make the film with dimension only under the condition that no matter what, they could not change the scripted ending. And if you've seen The Mist, you know about that great ending. Jaw-dropping. I loved it. One of the best endings I've seen in film. A very ballsy, gutsy. Now, the ending to the movie, that was filmed about 18 miles south of here in Minden, Louisiana. 
So it was filmed over on a uh, 1500 acre training center known as Camp Minden, military site. So that's where all that happened. I always felt I wanted to keep the ending as secret as humanly possible. So when we distributed the script, we didn't uh, actually put the end scene on. We were missing the last three pages of the script. And that's the way we shot the movie. Unless they were specifically involved in that last scene, nobody, nobody knew what the ending of the movie was. I don't think that there has ever been a horror movie that had the nerve, that had the creative courage to, to end the way this one ends. It doesn't end the way you think it should or you think it might. It, it, it ends the way it probably would. The ending has always scared people, which I think is a good thing. That's a good sign. If it scares studios, then it's, it's going to scare the audience but for different reasons, obviously. Here we are on the backside of Stageworks. You're going to see, when I watch the uh, behind the scenes making of documentary about it, you're going to see them back here testing out what looks like a flamethrower. Yeah, you're going to see them back here. You're going to see that uh, platform over there to the right, that landing. See with the stairs on it. You're going to see that right back here. And it looks like this place, I don't know. I don't know if it's ever been used. I was pulling on some of the doors to get in. Obviously, they're locked, but they had cobwebs all over them. So I don't know if this is still used as a facility or what for anything. That's it, folks. Stageworks, Louisiana. All the interiors of the mist were shot inside here. And I just noticed here on the back side of the building, see those bay doors? They look a little different now, but those could very well be the same bay doors where you see old Norm, he's the uh, bagger, was pulled out to his death by an unknown creature. It very well could not be, but hey, it's fun to uh, imagine, right? All right, folks, that's a wrap from here in Shreveport, Louisiana. See, so we got Larry Flint's Hustler Club in the background. How fitting, right? There's some kind of commotion going on over there. But anyway, that's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I did what we could. Sorry, the supermarket was gone. I had no idea until we showed up there. But uh, that's it. This is where the mist was filmed. Louisiana has a little Stephen King country in it. I don't know. I don't know what's happening over there. A little noisy. So anyway, folks, again, we're out of here. And we'll see you down the road. I'm going to scare the hell out of you.